All right. Um, we had an amazing event on Monday. These are all of our speakers. We had Jake Wu. Um, Holly was a great host. Peter Tuckman, the Einstein of Wall Street, was there. Peter Green, loving his uh, East Coast accent. Lindsay, a.k.a. Eager Beaver, with some amazing trading psychology for us. Amma Jamma did her thing. Um, In the Money Adam, amazing insight on leaps. Bueller, of course, picking contracts, retest trading, mommy trades, channel trading, and my boy Ian Campbell, volume profile. Um, their links are here. Um, Anna's calculator that she went over, Emma, Emma Jamma's calculator, is right here. Everything is in this Padlet. I will put this in the description here. Um, and the recording is there. So really cool, really cool day. I'll remember that day for a long time because... Everybody came together for me. It's really nice of them. They could have said no and um, really humbling. So um, so let's take a look. I'm trying to find my yellow chart. Tesla. Um, so 15-minute charts. Let's just go to today. This was today's price action. Right there. Today's the 18th, so it starts right there. Right here to there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Sorry. All right, so what happened today on Tesla, let me go to the five-minute, is um, we had very weak opening, and we went under this level here. Okay, so look, look what happened here on Tesla. We opened up. We, we kind of held this level, and we never got above this pre-market level, this pre-market candle body, and then the pre-market wick. So right here, I was looking at a bear flag pattern, okay? It's kind of a big bear flag. You could call it this or this, okay? I was looking at it here, here. There's a few patterns, though. There, there. See this megaphone, rising megaphone? And another thing that you can look at is this wedge breaking down. Okay. It's like a triangle type thing. Okay. But another thing is this, we started here and then we kind of broke down, right? This like flag did not pop up. We did not get this move here. Okay. Obviously I have, oh my gosh, I just grabbed the chart. I had this line here, right? This 214.05, um, beautiful entry into puts. Um, I think we got it right here. Actually, we definitely shorted the pop and it was just a beautiful play. It was just all the way down. I think I got out right here pretty early. Um, but, uh, the only real retest we had was here when it retested this wedge. Okay. So if you make a box on the wedge, right, you're like, all right, well under this wedge, we are, like bearish for the day. So that's basically what happened, right? Under this wedge here. This is where the wedge was lost and it never recovered. Let's go to the 15, my new favorite chart. Kind of easier to see the drop. Um, look, see on the 15, it's a little bit easier to not get shooken out of trades. Shaken, shook, shook out. Um, so yeah, so some people, not me, were in this. Um, I was not in this, but, uh, you know, they're 200%, 300%. Um, but that was, that was kind of cool to see. And, uh, the relative weakness is something that we, we jumped on. So, um, spy, um, was doing this rising action. Okay. I'm going to draw the line here. And then I'm going to go to the five minute. I just did that. Okay. So we were in calls right here. Okay. And before I draw that, this is what we were playing. This right there. Maybe I should make that white to kind of distinguish. Okay. So we were watching the white here um, when we opened and we got in right here. It was holding this 47350. Um, retested here, right? We always want to look for the retest. Boom. 
I got in here and got out here, right on my blue line, that four, seven, five. I was like, boom, I'm out. Um, we came down and retested our entry, right, off of this level. We kind of double top there. We definitely double top, not kind of. Um, later in the day, we busted above the double top right there, and we retested it. See that retest? So um, this was like a Fed speaker. Not like a Fed speaker. I need to stop saying like. This was a Fed speaker that we broke down on. Okay, there's a couple ways to look at this. This pattern broke down. Um, let me erase this. But yeah, we're looking at the five minute here. Um, always have a 15 minute up though. Okay, and clearly this falling action um, went up. Okay, so we went from here to here. Okay, I'm constantly dragging these trend lines. Look, we basically flagged then into a new high. Okay, we made a giant falling wedge on the daily or on the intraday. So it's pretty cool to see. Here's open right here where it says 18. That's the open. And um, right there. This whole action was like a giant falling wedge, okay? And you can redraw it. It doesn't matter. And then get in, right? This resistance flip, it's called an SR flip. We got in here earlier for calls up to the blue line. We retested the blue, okay? We didn't get all the way. I call it an 80% retest, okay? It's about 80% of the way there, right? I could look at the fib and see exactly what it is. But we even went a little higher. Pop before the drop. Do not break out trade. See, this is higher than that. Okay, you need a retest, just like this retested here. Okay, what I mean is this. We did not <clears throat> do this. Right there. Okay, we did not do this. Okay, that would have been our like entry for calls. Instead, we lost that spot on the rising wedge I talked to you about earlier. Um this white line, about to make it white, was lost, okay? That wedge that I was pointing out earlier. So then we had a nice falling wedge all day long. Tesla's still really weak, by the way. Um, I really think we're going to pump and dump tomorrow on Tesla, just like one of those opening candles and drop. Um, and then there's a few ways to play this. So we get over this blue line, right? Now we this other blue line, do you see how this uh, resistance became support? We lost it here. We lost it right there. Came all the way down. Went all the way up. Next to the blue line. Came down right here. Went here. Up. Back to the blue. blue and we even went up here to the 477s seven and closed right under this blue line. So you got to have these blue lines up. So what I'm going to be watching next is this. You know, this is a really... Uh, I'm not going to watch that. What I was, This is what I was watching during the day. Like, are we going to get back over? Okay. Because it's like, oh, do we get into puts? I, we even played puts here. Um, okay, bet in the Discord played puts right here for 100%. He got them right here on this tweezer top, got out right there. Okay. I, I posted that a few times too. So you have another pattern here that's starting to develop, not a pattern, but like a trend line. And then you have this constantly moving my trend lines. I thought we would fall, honestly, because this kind of was rising. We fell here a little bit, but we really didn't get follow through. So if, you are now holding blue lines. Each one of the dotted lines is a blue line, okay? You're holding a blue, holding a blue. You have to lose two for me to get bearish, okay? We lost that one, fine. We lose this one, we didn't lose this one. The second blue line wasn't lost. Gain, boom, we got a second blue line. So um, that's how I play that. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, I was, I would say scared today after the chop yesterday, but um, looking forward to OPEX tomorrow. And uh, we shall see. So um, I'll put the link to this Padlet in the Discord. Unbelievable. Sign up for the next uh, seminar with David Green and uh, Peter Aries. We went over that platform. It's been really fast for members, a new trading platform, kind of like TOS. And uh, make sure you sign up on the Traderverse link here. Okay, I'm going to be talking about that more as we move forward. Um, and uh, if you want trading view, I think these are my charts right here, or it might just be a sign up. So people are asking how to sign up for that. But all right, guys, cool. See you later. Bye.